Hi everyone, and welcome to the University of Maryland. My name is Mike Galzinski, and I'm a faculty member here in the College of Engineering. Today, I'm gonna to take you on a little bit of a tour and provide you an overview of what the Keystone program is all about. And to get things started off, I thought we might have a little bit of fun and go back in time. A long, long time ago, I myself was a student here at the University of Maryland in College of Engineering. I had such a positive experience here that I never wanted to leave. So I had to find a secret loophole that would hopefully allow me to stick around forever. To that end, I became a professor. Joking aside, I truly love my time here at the University of Maryland and I owe a great deal of my successes to the Keystone program. So what is that program all about? Well, it draws its name from the field of architecture, more specifically, an arch. If you look more closely at the top stone of an arch, you'll see that that piece is what's holding everything together. That single most important element is referred to as a keystone. The keystone program then is a fitting metaphor because the goal of the program is to enhance and engage students in their fundamental engineering courses to provide them with positive experiences so that they can build a solid foundation for their academic careers and beyond. Now, the keystone program is not something that you have to apply to. It simply exists for the betterment of all engineering student experiences. Let's take a closer look now at some of the elements that seek to engage students and enhance their experiences. To ensure that our students have a truly excellent experience in their formative freshman year and sophomore year level engineering courses, the Keystone program recruits passionate and motivated faculty members with a proven track record for successful teaching to teach our introductory courses. Now, you may not think that this is a very novel idea, but we know that having enthusiastic educators ready to engage our students truly makes a world of difference on bringing them a positive experience. In addition to having motivated faculty members, we want to ensure that the rest of the teaching team is just as passionate about the field of education. To do this, we hire undergraduate teaching fellows, or UTFs, to help support student learning in our courses. As a former UTF myself, I can tell you that our teaching fellows are really enthusiastic about sharing their love and passion for the field of engineering with our students. As undergrads themselves, they are not only well versed with the courses that they are supporting, but also many others here at the university. This not only makes them easy to relate to, but it really makes them excellent academic resources for our students. In addition to this, our teaching fellows tend to be some of the most well-rounded and involved students here on campus. They are members and leaders of clubs like Terps Racing and Engineers Without Borders, and they participated in all sorts of different experiences, like study abroad. This also makes them an excellent resource to help our students navigate their time at the university and get the most from their educational experience, both in and outside of the classroom. Not only do we want to have a motivated and talented teaching team, but we want to make sure that they're available to our students. To do this, we've created what's called the Keystone Center, which is we allow a physical space on campus to be opened up several nights a week in the evening, usually the night before homework's due so that our students can come in, engage with their peers, and the rest of the teaching team to gain the valuable support that they need to succeed not only in their coursework, but also in the field of engineering and their lives more broadly. In the College of Engineering, there are a variety of different engineering disciplines that you can choose to study. Regardless what your area of focus is, you'll be taking introductory level math and science courses to get acclimated to the field. You'll also be taking foundational engineering courses that are shared across all of the engineering disciplines. These foundational courses are what we call the Keystone courses. And this is where the Keystone program comes in. We ensure that these courses are taught by the motivated teaching team that I was just talking about. But there are also several other things we do to ensure that students have positive experiences in these formative years. To introduce another important principle of the Keystone program, I want to start off by asking you a question, which is, what is the difference between a scientist and an engineer? We know that engineers take all sorts of math and science courses, so what differentiates those two different disciplines? Well, the good way that I've heard it put is that scientists look at the world and they see the way that it is, and they ask themselves, why is the world that way? Engineers, on the other hand, they see the world and see what could be, and they ask themselves, why not? While scientists develop theory, engineers tend to apply theory, and the way that they do this is through design. This is the most fundamental skill that any engineer can possess. And because of this, 
In the Keystone program, we want to make sure that every engineering student has the opportunity to engage in authentic design experiences in all of the Keystone courses. By doing so, marrying theory and practice, we believe that we can truly build a successful and foundational experience for all of our engineering students. Hey everyone, my name is Garrison Case. I'm a mechanical engineering and computer science double major here at the University of Maryland, and I'm a UTF for the Keystone program. One of the biggest things that I've taken away from the Keystone program is all of the Keystone projects that we contribute to every semester. We learn things about troubleshooting, design thinking, and teamwork that I can directly apply, not only to my extracurriculars, but to the real world. One of the extracurriculars that I'm involved in that really takes away from this is turf racing. They're one of the clubs on campus we design, build, and compete with race cars every year. And you can really take everything that you've learned in the classroom and apply it into something that has real world implication. Because of that, I'm super excited to open the door for all of these students to take what they're learning in the classroom and apply it into something real and physical and something that you can grasp and realize, hey, this actually, this is a big deal. This is engineering. While every course in the Keystone program offers students the opportunity to engage in a design experience by working with their classmates to build a physical product, this is especially true in the ENES 100 Introduction to Engineering Design course. In this course, students are provided a foundational overview of the field of engineering. They learn about the engineering design process, teamwork, project management, and their ethical responsibility as engineers. They also are introduced to topics like mechanics, electronics, and coding. Together, they work with their team over the second half of the semester to build a physical product and compete in an engineering competition. While the project has evolved from the days of it being a hovercraft to today, the students building an oversand vehicle, the idea is that working on this project really offers students the opportunity to engage in their learning. In order to facilitate our students building their projects, we provide them access to a number of different lab facilities on campus. Here, students have access to things like power tools, consumables, and advanced manufacturing methods like 3D printing and laser cutting. The idea behind all of these resources is so that students can use them to really bring their ideas from paper into the real world, to get a taste of what engineering is all about. Let's take a closer look at the OSV project and learn a little bit more about how students have utilized these resources to bring their ideas to life. The OSV project challenges students to design and construct a fully autonomous vehicle to tackle one of five unique missions, ranging from detecting and extinguishing candles located on the course or collecting and analyzing samples from a pool of water or chemicals. Here you can see an example OSV that was tasked with the fire mission. The different missions challenge students to be creative and to learn how to prototype and troubleshoot their designs. As we all know, our best laid plans don't always work out, and that is often true in this project. This fire team's OSV started out looking very differently at the beginning of the project, but the students learned how to deal with the setbacks and failures of their initial design to build one of the most successful and unique vehicles in the course. By working in interdisciplinary teams, students learn how to communicate and integrate their ideas with others and showcase their team spirit, which helps them build a close-knit community and forge lasting friendships. During the final project competition, excitement permeates through the lab space as the students all cheer each other and their OSVs on. When an OSV successfully performs its task, the students become jubilant and celebrate all of their hard work. It's a truly great thing to see the projects be successful and to see all of the joy that it brings to students. Even during the spring 2020 semester when we had to transition to online learning, we made sure that students were still provided with the opportunity to work on exciting hands-on projects within a team. In this case, elaborately themed Rube Goldberg machines. As always, the work of the students was truly impressive. Hi everyone, my name is Quinn Wondolowski and I'm an undergraduate teaching fellow in the Keystone department. I had such an amazing experience in the Introduction to Engineering Design course, so much that I wanted to come back and teach the course myself and help support students to make sure that they had an amazing experience like I did. The things that I love about this course is that it gives you experience into the engineering world really early on in your college career. It integrates things such as design thinking, problem solving, and teamwork. And not only do you get to learn these concepts of engineering, but you get to apply them by creating prototypes and things and other devices. I love the Keystone department because it really emphasizes a community and a structure to help support students. 
Me, as a UTF, I'm here to support you both academically and socially. I have so many mentors in the Keystone Department who have helped me get to the place I am today. And I want to give back to the department by helping you as students to have an amazing experience here at UMD. Ultimately, our wish in the Keystone Program is that by providing students with all of these educational resources and offering students the opportunity to engage in authentic design experiences and build physical products, that we will not only improve the engineering experience here at the University of Maryland, but that we will also be building better engineers that not only love what they do, but that are capable of taking on the world's most challenging problems.